welcome this week to Coffee and Tools. And uh, no, you're you're not seeing double. Uh, no. I'm gonna get into a lot of things this week, but the first thing was the giveaway. Uh, last week we had a contest to give away a Verizon jetpack that's been refurbished, so it's a good unit. And for some reason, we have had some kind of problem with the email box or nobody entered the contest and didn't want Verizon Jetpack for free to be mailed to your address, whatever. So we'll throw this back out at you again. All you have to do, one, one entry per household, lower 48 states only, and simply email over to coffeeandtools at yahoo.com and just uh, put in the subject line, Jetpack, then we just need a name and an address, and we'll go through the tickets and pull somebody who's the winner. Uh, I don't care if your name is Bob in Tennessee again, but you know, if you want it, hey, it's yours, bad boy. <laughs> also have this one here. Uh, I'll see if I can find a charger or maybe a different cable for this one before it goes out of here, but this one here is the Sprint uh, 8000 pot spot. Again, like brand new, it, it was refurbished, uh, I believe, and works excellent. Just, you know, we're giving it away, mailing it right to you. So, at Yahoo, uh, coffee and tools at yahoo.com, and in the subject line, just write Sprint and your name and address. We'll go through some uh, over the next couple of days, and whoever gets this thing, I will mail it right to you for, for free. It's, this bad boy can be yours. And I'll see if I, I know I've got some chargers here for these things, but I'll check the cable too and see if I get you a better cable. I'm not really sure about this cable. Yeah, it is what it is. The uh, contest open to anyone lower 48, one entry per household. Okay, if you have a brother-in-law and he lives in your house, he can enter too. What the, what the heck, right? What's going on this week? Well, I uh, just got this in a couple days ago. This is Tack Life table saw. This is Tag Light Table Saw. This, my friends, is Generation 1. Uh, this is actually Generation 2. And what I wanted to talk a little bit about is this is a just a better saw all the way around right now than the Generation 1 because they made improvements, which is, at Tag Life, I think that's a wonderful thing, that they do make some changes. They hear, they hear the customers, they hear the consumers, and I know that Tag Life and I had been in some communication over this because when I got this one in, the first thing I did was build. I built this little uh, bad boy right here. <laughs> and it was for this particular saw because I really didn't like the fence that came with it. And so what Generation 2 does is, actually their fence now, I think in some ways is you know, better than one I made. This one here came with the new generation tack like saw. So it's a full length saw covering the whole table. It has a little uh, groove, little little piece back here that locks into the back, so that this thing doesn't, you know, it doesn't. It's not just loose or pops up or something. It locks in really nicely. It also has a really nice latch lock at the front here, a uh, little guide here, so you can check your measurement. I have never used these. I've always used my tape measure off the blade to set my fence up with. But hey, whatever. So they have this nice fence now with the new ones and it is really when you lock it in that baby is that baby's solid and holding holding on to that table now that is a huge thing because it's, sometimes these tool companies take forever to get something done well tack life seems like they got on this and said hey you know there's a problem you know let's get let's get it solved the next item on the new generation 2 I'm going to show you was also a problem on this saw, again, a compl some complaints or whatever, and they realize, you know what, it's, it's minor, but let's modify it, make it work the way it should. Let's take a look at that. Sure. Uh, I've had saws, table saws for, well, be giving my age away, right? Over 50 years, but uh, I've never used these blades, I've never liked them, and every saw I've had, uh, didn't come with these and the new saws are coming with these and they're kind of cool it helps to prevent kickback and other things so again I've never had kickback I've always tried to make sure I control my work as it goes through the saw so nothing you know kicks in my face but when the generation one came in this was too high over the blade so I couldn't like do notch cutting you know stuff like that so the blade was uh, it 
this this part here was a problem. Now this was a very old saw. This saw it was one of the early ones that first tack lights kind of like first brought out, and so it's kind of old. And this one here, like I say, just came in. I guess it was Saturday it got here over the weekend, and so I got it out of the box, took the old this old one off the stand, swapped this one onto the stand. And then set it up and the first thing I noticed was right here this is about five millimeters below the top of the blade so this isn't going to interfere with notching or any kind of work that I can do with that blade so I thought well that's a win uh, they you know managed to lower this a little bit so I'm going to leave it on because it is a safety item and it will be nice to have it and I don't think it's going to interfere with the work from now on so that's a plus now mind you this plastic guard over the top uh, still uh, no for me because I use the uh, such things like the uh, micro jig you know and uh, the pushers and that sort of thing the pusher stick on this one is identical to the one that came with generation one so I don't see any changes or upgrades or whatever with that uh, it's the same blade and I don't know if tack life will ever uh, change this uh, situation here the Arbor, supposedly, I guess they've been looking at it because the Arbor here should be 5 eighths now instead of the old one. And I don't know if they made the change or not. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's take it apart and take a look. Okay, so... Yeah, that would help. So we're going to find out. This is the only other... Uh, the Mises about the saw that some people were kind of negative about and said it was a deal breaker, whatever. But uh, the arbor itself, and it looks to me like it's still the. Let's have a look at the blade and just get to the blade says. The blade says. Wow. It says arbor 5 8. Wow. I'll talk, tell you. That is awesome because that was the only other thing that was holding up the sale on these saws at least in the u.s was the oversized 30 millimeter arbor it was such a weird size that you can't buy blades for it so i had a feeling that uh it was hopeful that they would make a change on that mm. uh, but it's the way the the saw is not plugged in now you know just just so everybody knows but let's have a look quick look at the arbor on this thing and just say the improvements overall really established the saw for the u.s market and that's you know i think if tack life's going to do this they really they needed to do it right away and they did because yep there it is whoops sorry guys there we go five eighths arbor for the tack life saw now so now we don't have to worry about running around with uh yeah, I already put some money into these bad boys. I guess I could make some kind of a, uh, I could probably make some sort of adopter that would uh, work with my my new blades I bought for Generation 1. <laughs> oh, life just, yeah, whatever. Anyways, so maybe I should get those out. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, because of the situation here, if you have one of the Generation 1 Tack Life saws, Maybe we'll do a contest in the upcoming weeks uh, and give away some of the brand new blades that I bought for the original Tack Life that had the 30 millimeter arbor as opposed to the 5 8 arbor. This saw seems to have everything about it that I hit on with my videos way back. I had talked, like I said, to Tack Life, uh, the, the representatives in California about Tack Life and the situation that was going on here with this market. And it looks like they listened and they made a lot of changes really quickly. Uh, the other thing that uh, was addressed was I believe that this is a better quality saw because the hardware was a little different on this one than that one. And I think they made, you know, again, I think they made improvements. Things that maybe you and I didn't even know about. But just seeing that 30 millimeter arbor go away, I think is, you know, it's great it really is it's really great that we have a company in this day and age that can still pick up really quickly make the changes on the fly for manufacturing and get the job done because 
let's face it, a lot of the, these tool companies take years before they'll make one little modification change or something. So that is absolutely something I wanted to share with you guys this, today specifically. Besides the contest, of course, giveaway stuff. And please, uh, at the end of the contest, all emails are deleted from the from the database. So we don't keep your information. We don't. We're certainly not going to hand it out to anybody. Nobody gets to see it. And we do a draw for the contest. You know, usually each week, I'm going to be probably giving giving something away. And I guess in the up and coming weeks, if you have one of the older uh, tack life saws, we'll be uh, probably going to give some of those uh, 30 millimeter blades away with the saw or with uh, with something here. I've got I've got two saws. I think I only need one. Actually, we'll see where that saw itself gets to. That that might be just parts only. I'm really not sure what's going to happen with that saw just yet. That's kind of a up in the air situation, but. Between the fence, the arbor, and this here right now, really pleased. Now the uh, miter side of this, I got two different lengths of miters that can go in here now to go through here, but uh, I wasn't going to show them to you because there's really no point. There's really no change there that I could see, but there there, there may be a, an improvement there too. Didn't see it, but tack life, hey. Thank you so much for listening and making these changes. This saw is so much better than what, what you were putting out even a year ago. So Tack Life. Wow. You know, the power cord is still about, I, I'm going to say it's about the same length and quality as the original Generation 1. The stand is about the same. Some of the things like these switches here, uh, no change there on the, on the stop switch, although it, you know, it, it's one of those things that you could improve on, but I don't think it's a big uh, make and break deal. But 30 mil, you know, the 30 millimeter thing is gone. The fence is so much better. The knife actually works back here to help protect me from kickback now. Tack life, what can I say? Looking great. Hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe. And we're probably going to give those blades away down the road, among other things. But right now, I've got these two jet, uh, two hot spots, a jet pack and a the Sprint 8000, I think it is model. So in the next few days, we'll be giving those away, and then we'll we'll move on to some more prizes. Also got some Wi-Fi boosters and some other really crazy cool stuff, brand new, still in the box things that are here. And we'll just continue to you know throw stuff out every week. I hope, uh, at least I hope from now on we can. And until next time, coffee and tools.